This is a real spirit that we're supposed to be dealing with in the body of Christ. And we're talking about uh, monitoring spirit, uh, the witches and wizards. Uh, nonsense. We are in the last hour, which Jesus calls the beginning of sorrows. Apostle John gave us one of the major signs that show us that we are in the last hour, the rise of the Antichrist spirit. Apostle Tarkim kickstarts this journey. Verse 18. It says, Little children, it is the last hour. Do you hear? We are in the last hour, my friend. Coronavirus is telling you we're in the last hour. If you don't hear from prophet, hear from Coron. The, this are the beginning of sorrows, according to the scripture. Jesus called it the beginning of sorrows. Little children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard, that the Antichrist is coming. 1 John 2, 18. Even now, many Antichrists, if you have my kind of Bible, it said the Antichrist, that is the person that will come after the rapture. He now said, but before him, many Antichrists, that is the spirit. Even now, many Antichrists have come by which we know that it is the last hour. But how do you detect the Antichrist in church? Apostle tells us that most churches are ruled by the Antichrist. And here is one way you know whether the church you are attending is being ruled by the Antichrist. There is religion without the Holy Spirit. This is where they tell you to manage sin because transformation is gradual. It is in such churches that they tell you that we are all human and no one is perfect. Apostle explains it. How do you detect the Antichrist? That's what I want to tell you now. How do you detect him? How do you detect the Antichrist? If you know how to detect the Antichrist, you will know how to stay away from the wrong church. Because many churches are ruled by the Antichrist. Many churches. Wherever they present salvation without regeneration, the Antichrist is king there. Let me follow the prophecy of, of William Booth. Wherever you, you see religion without the Holy Spirit, Remember, when the Holy Spirit is there, there will be holiness. The first sign of the presence of the Holy Spirit is people having power over sin. They don't manage their sins by telling them that, oh, you grow, transformation is gradual. Even though you are a smoker, even though, even though you are a, a drug addict, don't worry, keep coming. It, will, it doesn't happen gradual. It happens suddenly. When you touch Holy Ghost, it transforms you immediately. When you have not touched him, then you live in sin and get yourself involved in stupid things that you are doing. Listen, whenever you see religion without the Holy Spirit, know that the Antichrist is king there. How else do you know whether the church you are fellowshipping in is ruled by the Antichrist? They have a Christianity without Christ. They mention Jesus, but never subject themselves to the authority and lordship of Christ. In such churches, there is forgiveness without repentance and salvation without regeneration. Here is how Apostle puts it. Any church ministry, you see Christianity without Christ. They mention Jesus, but they don't accept Christ. The Antichrist is there. Any church ministry, you see repentance. You see forgiveness without repentance. People pressing into the mercy of God without repenting of their sin. That is the Antichrist is ruling them. Anywhere you see salvation without regeneration, I am born again, I'm born again by mouth, the Antichrist is there. Anywhere you see people practicing politics without the character of God, the Antichrist is there. If you are fellowshipping in a church where they preach a heaven without hell, you are in a church where the Antichrist is king. They tell themselves that they should not get people afraid by preaching about hell, yet Jesus himself preached about hell severally. That explains why our leading preachers on earth never preach about hell and have turned the church into a bless me club. Anyway, you see people presenting a heaven without hell. People don't preach about hell again. The Antichrist is there. Do you, do you know the way the Antichrist took away the voice of hell? Look at, you begin to hear preachers saying, hey, don't be getting people afraid about hell. Don't be preaching fire and brimstone. That's the way they call it. Don't be preaching fire and brimstone. Don't be getting, getting people afraid about hell. Preachers are there bringing such teaching from the late 80s. Don't be talking about hell. Talk about faith. Talk about faith, not hell. The just shall live by faith. So this is a faith movement. Let's talk about faith. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Whose faith? The Bible calls it the faith of the Son of Man. 
when the son of man came he preached about hell he preached about heaven jesus spoke to us that hell has worms in it jesus said if your eye will cause you to go to hell remove the eye that means if what you are seeing will take you to hell stop seeing it he said if your right hand will cause you to go to hell cut it off that was that is how that, that's how that, that's how difficult i mean that's how serious the matter is jesus his own his faith that is the, the bible says we should go for his faith the faith of the son of man tells you that if your hand will cause you to go to, to go to hell cut it if your job will cause you to go to hell resign for the job if that woman will cause you to go to hell cut off from the woman that is what jesus said but these antichrist preachers they come to tell you oh if you cannot come to church on sunday because of your job no problem just send your tithe God understand. If I follow the job on YouTube, follow, follow the service with your iPad, we understand. The pastor understand that Jesus will never tolerate your stupidity. And here is the saddest part of all these. Preachers are supposed to be teaching people on how to track, identify, and dismantle the spirit of the Antichrist in the church, but are busy teaching them about monitoring spirits, spirit husbands, and other doctrines of devils. How do you detect the Antichrist? How do you track this unknown enemy? Like I said, it's everywhere in the church today. Everywhere in the church. How do you track this unknown enemy down? This is a real spirit that we're supposed to be dealing with in the body of Christ. And we're talking about uh, monetary spirit, uh, the witches and wizards. Uh, nonsense. This is a real spirit. This is a real spirit we're supposed to deal with. So the Antichrist will tell you, preach about faith. Don't preach about heaven and hell. Preach about faith. The just shall live by faith. If you have faith, all things are possible to those that believe. That's what that Antichrist is comfortable with that. All things are possible to those that believe. Preach about faith. Preach about miracles. The miraculous. How to walk in the miraculous. Preach about the miraculous. Preach about financial prosperity. It's God's will for you to be poor. So for you to be rich. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. Even as my soul, my soul prosper. Somebody say hallelujah. So the Antichrist will say preach about money. Preach about healing. Oh, by his stripes we are healed. Of course. Preach also about hell. Preach about heaven. Preach about regeneration. Because if you are regenerated, you will be healthy. If you have the Holy Spirit, he will bring money to you. The Antichrist spirit in the church will never differentiate between the prosperity of the wicked and the prosperity of the righteous. It will tell you to have intercourse with Babylon and get its treasures. That is what has made many Christians be involved in anything as long as it is bringing money to them. It is the same spirit that has made some churches become money-making machines. The Antichrist will never separate between the prosperity of the wicked and that of the righteous. To the Antichrist will tell you all prosperity is the same. There's nothing like the prosperity of the righteous. Antichrist does not differentiate the two. The Antichrist, Antichrist will say, have intercourse with the world, no problem. Get the money. It is the Antichrist that have led preachers to turn the church into a money-making machine. So we must detect it. Finally, Apostle tells us that the Antichrist has opened his net of pollution in the church to trap those who are saved from the world, to keep them in their unsaved state. This spirit is taking people to hell right from the church. Sadly, they are heading to hell while carrying the Bible in their hands. Listen to this. The Antichrist take people from the church to hell, from church ministries. Peter said they have escaped from the world. And they come to, to the church and the antichrist take them and turn them into terrible entities he said their state is now worse than the way it was before look at look at look at how peter put it in his own words go to second peter look at what the antichrist done he says for verse 20 for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ they are again entangled in them and overcome the latter end is worse for them than the beginning that is what the antichrist want to achieve in your life if you are genuinely born again that's what you want to achieve so you must learn how to track him down thanks for watching 